99 Giolito. I mess with it. Let's go. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Cap back again with another pack opening. And today, we don't only have pack openings. We got a new conquest map. We got a new free 99 over on the market. A roster update, a stub sell, uh, tops, now moments that are new. And of course, a new headliner. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video. First thing we're gonna be looking over is the new conquest map. That's right, honoring Jackie Robinson on today's altered version of Jackie Robinson Day. Here we have, of course, Jackie Robinson. As you guys know, Chadwick Boseman, who played as T'Challa in Black Panther and who played Jackie Robinson in the movie 42, recently passed away. So the timing of all of this is really, really unfortunate. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. I mean, such a great actor. None of us even knew he had cancer, but rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Prayers to his family. Hopefully they aren't struggling through this time from this pandemic, let alone his just, you know, un unlikely, untimely death that we'd all expect. I mean, it's just crazy how life can just go like that. But back to the game. We got a new 42 Conquest map. You're in the smack dab middle, and then all you got to do is face every other team. And finally, face the Dodgers. So that's the new Conquest map right here. All you got to do is complete these, and then you pretty much get free packs along the way. The scene that we're taking a look at is, of course, new roster update. So, a lot of players have got their stats moving up and down. Max Scherzer, one of the unfortunate ones going down. Hater! Josh Hader, though, is one of the most underrated pitchers that I feel like almost nobody's talking about. Like, yeah, sure, there's word of mouth, obviously, here and there, but not really many people talking about him. Trevor Story going up, he's been mashing the ball. Bryce Harper, someone just pulled the Bryce Harper card out of the market, and I told him, yo, hold on to him. He's going to go up in value, trust me. Juan Soto going up, showing off some of that power. Rendon, low, low contact against lefties, but he's definitely hitting better. That hitting streak is going up. Freeman, there you go. So let's see some of the new diamond call-ups. Machado gets the call-up to diamond. Giolito from that no-hitter gets that call-up. Trey Turner, one of the most unlikely people, makes the call-up. He was actually one of my best hitters when I first started this game as an MLB The Show 15. Jose Abreu, man, dude, well-deserved. Well, well, well-deserved, man. He had one of the best, like, weekends against his, the Crosstown rival. And he well, well, well deserves it. You Darvish getting that diamond column, man. He had a rough year last year, and he's back at it. You love to see it. Blake's now trying to go back to that diamond status. Kershaw, I don't know how much longer he's going to hold on to it. Kent Maeda almost getting that diamond, um, diamond status. I don't know. Oh, it says his break went up, which is nice. You like to see that. His Vila went up 73? That's, that, uh, that's probably just a mistake. Goldie almost going back to Diamond and leaving that gold. Liam Hendricks, look at that. Jose Ramirez, unfortunately, goes down. You hate to see it. Bunch of other guys who, uh, you know, are good. Castellanos quickly leaves the Diamond scene. He was only a Diamond for, like, what, a couple weeks? And now he's down, man. You hate to see it. Who else? Charlie Blackman also goes down after having one of the hottest starts to the season. Man. A lot of players are not performing as well as they w should, you know? All right, let's see some of the silver to gold. You got Zach Wheeler going up. J.D. Martinez going a little bit down. Zach Gallen going up. You love to see Zach Gallen doing really, really well. Let's see a lot of people going down. Eloy getting that gold status. You love to see it. Of course, mashing the ball along with Jose Abreu. We got Aaron Savale quickly going to gold, man. It, was, it doesn't even seem that long ago that he was a uh, bronze. It's crazy. Uh, a lot of demotions, though. Bradley going down. Kiermaier going down. Tosca Hernandez going up. You love to see Austin Meadows losing that gold status. Man, it's it's crazy, man. Also, Mustakas and Joey Votto. Yo, the Reds. The Reds. Castellanos, Mustakas, Votto. What's going on with the Reds? We also got a Tops Now moments for the week. We got, of course, Dancy Swanson, where you got to hit a home run. You got Kenta Maeda, where you got to pitch 12 innings and get 2K, 12Ks, but not give up two hits. So you basically can only give up one hit. The Slam Diego Padres, look at that. You got to hit a grand salami with, I believe, Hosmer. Or who else could it be? You know, Tristan McKenzie making his major league debut. Actually have one of his Bowman best autos, which is crazy. Uh, I didn't think he'd be anything, but hopefully he makes a career out of himself. You got Trent Grisham, where you got to get three extra base hits in the game. And, of course, 
you got Jose Abreu having the best weeks or weekend spans. So let's take a look at their Tops Now cards. First guy that we're going to be taking a look at is Tristan McKenzie, 95 stamina, 85 hits per 9, 110 Ks per 9 from New York, only a 22 year old. He's got 91 control, 74 velo, and 99 break. He throws the four seam curve, change up, and slider. He doesn't have that sinker, he doesn't have that knuckle curve that a lot appreciate, but if you dominate him well, he'll be great. Next guy that we're taking a look at is Trent Grisham, 125 power. That's the one thing that stands out right there. 125 power. He's got 92 contact and 125 power versus righties. 69 contact lefty and 87 power versus lefties. He's got 73 vision, 85 discipline, 82 clutch, 86 fielding. Really, really good all around. And the speed. Don't get me about the speed, man. He's a great, great rookie of the year candidate. This card with 125 power, you can't not get him. Next guy that we're taking a look at is Dansby Swanson shortstop. For the Atlanta Braves, he's a 96 overall, 108 contact versus righties, and 92 power versus righties, 95 contact versus lefties, 82 power versus lefties, 125 clutch. You know what? From that great walk off, of course, he's going to be clutch, thousand percent, 80 plus fielding all around, and that speed, man, great shortstop too. Second highest tops now card from this week is Jose Abreu, man. He absolutely, I think he. Tied that movie record with four straight at bats with a home run. And that power better be off the roof. He's got 85 contact versus righties and 125 power versus righties. 110 contact versus lefties and 95 power versus lefties. 75 vision, 63 discipline, 99 clutch, 75 fielding, which is a little bit higher than what I honestly anticipate. So he's going to be a good first baseman. Finally, as part of the tops now moment, you got Kenta Maeda, four seam slider, circle chains, curve, and sinker. Obviously, one of the best pitchers with the best repertoires that not many people can hit off of. And he almost got close to a no hitter. So it makes sense that his stats for hits and case per nine are up 97 stamina, 118 hits per nine, 110 case per nine. He's got, of course, 92 control, 70 VL, and 99 break. Kenta Maeda, a diamond in tops now finally but not least the last tops now card that you don't have to do a mission for and it is a hundred percent free is lucas giolito ladies and gentlemen lucas giolito of course through the no hitter against the pittsburgh pirates i always knew that giolito was one of the nastiest pitchers in the game and in real life from his from the season from the players league i knew his card was phenomenal when i think he made it to the semifinals that card was honestly the best card that i honestly liked i tried him once a phenomenal pitcher he has crazy movement and it's nice to see he got a no hitter and he gets a true 99 overall that we like to see 100 stamina 125 hits per nine 109 k's per nine 90 walks per nine 92 hit home runs per nine 95 Clutch, 89 control, 79 V, 73 velo, excuse me, and 99 break. It couldn't happen, honestly, to a better guy. And I'm happy that Giolito is a 99 overall. And it's completely free. Last thing I want to get over is, of course, the stub sell. There is a stub sell. By the time this video goes up, you have until tomorrow for the stub sell. So if you feel like this is a good opportunity to buy some stubs at a cheap price, do it here on uh, MLB The Show 20, or you can do it at the show nation dot. Um, last, last thing I forgot, we got a new headliner, ladies and gentlemen. Set 47 is going to be 99 overall, Todd Helton. We had him at first inning program leader, and now we know. Last, last thing that I forgot to mention, we got a new headliner, ladies and gentlemen. It is Todd Helton. We got him as the first inning boss, and now we get him as a 99 overall in these packs. Let's take a look at the stats for Todd Helton. He's got 125 contract versus righties and 103 power versus righties. 113 contact versus lefties and 81 power versus lefties. Excuse me. 104 vision, 125 discipline, 120 clutch. So you know those check swings should be in your favor. He's got 80 plus fielding all around and 55 speed, which isn't bad for a first baseman. A player with speed, fielding, and pop, you love to see it. Now we're going to hope that we can pull him here in today's pack opening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the 20 standard, a gold pack, set 47. We also got some flash sale packs. I didn't realize that we had flash sale packs until like three o'clock when I was at work. I was thinking, what, what is going on? And then I see the flash sale and I saw that one and two o'clock pass by. So I'm like, well, I got to get the rest. So we got, of course, the one headliner player item and the beach ball pack where we have a chance to potentially get Luis Robert again. Or maybe we'll get Nolan Ryan or 
Rogers Hornsby. Who knows? But we got all these facts, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, let's get into the pack opening. All right, so here we go. Here we go. We got, of course, 20 standard packs. So we're going to hope for at least a diamond here in today's video in the standard packs. Now, like I said, I mentioned this earlier to you guys, but I think I should probably speak more about it. Of course, now, uh, as you, most of you guys know, as we get Chris Paddock, uh, Chadwick Boseman recently passed away as of yesterday. And it's a little bit unfortunate because, I mean, he was not only just a great actor, but he made a huge impact not only in the cinematic history, but I think culturally, you know, like the movie Black Panther was such a, such a success that many of us anticipated and not, it, it brought us closer and so many cultures together. I mean, it, it's sad the, what we're living in right now. You guys know about the events going on right now across here, the United States, but that movie really brought a lot of us closer together, and it was such a great movie. I remember seeing it, and then, of course, just, you know, re uh, just realizing that he passed away as we pulled a diamond bat skin rattlesnake. Uh, goes for about a good 4,000 subs. Yeah, it's just really, really unfortunate. I mean, and the roles that he played in his career just even made it more special. Playing as Jackie Robinson and passing away on Jackie Robinson Day. It's sad because obviously the timely things are you never plan them. When someone passes away, you never, never, never plan them. And then he passed away on Jackie Robinson Day. He, pa he passed at the age of 43, not 42, which many did speculate, but it is unfortunate, you know. And I love seeing him in 42. And then, of course, him and Harrison Ford played great, great roles in that movie. And, of course, his, his most significant role of his career, I might say, is of course playing as T'Challa in Black Panther. He played that so well, and of course, there's nobody else that could have filled those shoes. But it's such such a sad day in the world. 2020 has really, really been a rough year for so many people, and it just continues to get worse. And it's it, it's just something that we have to actually we can't just pass through this time. We have to acknowledge this time and actually work through it. All right, guys. Enough about that little spiel we still got a bunch of packs to open so let's open up this gold player pack let's hope for a diamond and we don't but we get a gold in jimmy nelson i'm sorry brandon woodruff we were gonna open up this uh 99 overall lucas giolito i wonder who this card could be hmm hmm who could it be uh oh that's a top style card i'm gonna bet my life that it's lucas giolito and what you but lo, lo and behold, it is Lucas Giolito. There you go. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that he's free and you get to sell him. I mean, kudos to SDS for making some of this stuff happen. All right. We got a flash sale pack for a past headliner. We could get Mike Scott, Lusardo, Joey Bart, Christian Pash, Brendan McKay. Uh, I would hope for at least somebody good. A lot of these players' values did go down because obviously this pack came out. But man, if I could just see somebody good... It would be great. I remember we had Christy Matthewson. We held, we sell them at like 50000 and He's going for about that much. So here we go. Let's see who we get. Come on. Give me somebody good. Somebody valuable. And come on. That's a starting pitcher. You love to see it. Please don't be Mike Scott. Please. Veteran series. Oh, my God. It's Cy Young, isn't it? Oh, my God. We've pulled him like five times this year. I didn't want him. He's not even going for anything, really. All right, here we go. We got a beach ball pack. We from the two packs that they released initially in the year. We got Luis Robert and we got Eric Gagne. So next one we take. I wouldn't mind taking Posada. And then the next one, it's a toss between either Rogers Hornsby, who I love the last year, or uh, Nolan Ryan. Rogers Hornsby. I, I, it took a while for me to get used to him, but hey, he's a really really good card. So here we go. Let's see if we get him. And mmm. It's a little bit unfortunate. I was really hoping for, of course, um, you know, Rogers Hornsby. But hey, for for I think this pack only cost me I think fifteen thousand stubs, and we get Jorge Posada. I'll take it, man. Really, really good catcher. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got five headliner packs, and it is now time for no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of the evening. We got five set 47 headliner packs. We have a chance to get, of course, Todd Helton. He's already going for at least, what, 70,000 stubs on the market. So let's see if we get to pull him here. Here we go. Come on. Give us a good diamond. 
Silvers, ladies and gentlemen. The Silvers are going to hit us. I don't want it to happen, but it could happen again. Here we go. Second pack. Come on, please. Another silver. Uh-oh. And I, I didn't even buy these packs when I got home. I bought them on my phone on the shownation.com where I have a chance to get them. Uh, a second chance, and we get two silvers here. Gavin Lux and Diego Castillo. Okay, two remaining. What I would like for MLB The Show to do, if it isn't too much trouble as we get another silver, don't make it a silver. Make it at least the guaranteed gold because we're paying 7500 for these packs. And I, I haven't, I, I think I've gotten maybe what, four golds in the last two or three headliner pack openings. I mean, if I'm spending that much, I should at least get a little more than just the silver, you know? All right, here we go. Last headliner pack. One in 10 chance for a play, for a diamond player item. Come on, please. Just hit. Okay, we get a gold. Please give me a diamond. No, it's not going to happen. I think we only got one, one at least. I don't know if we got two golds in, the, in this headliners, but man. I would at least like a guaranteed gold out of these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, standard packs, headliner packs continue to go down the drain as usual. But we did get some nice free content out of the game, and you loved to see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this pack opening and you want to see a debut with Lucas Giolito. And of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very, very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all later.